Hi everybody, I'm Ron Cantor and you're watching Out of Zion on God TV. And we're still coming to you from the place where God TV sends its signal all over the world. Emek Ayala, or in English, the Valley of Ella, where David slew the giant Goliath. Now in this story, we talked earlier about how David had to overcome the words, the evil words of his brother against him. And he brought up the matter with somebody else. Well, someone else heard it. And then they went to King Saul and they said, hey, there's this little kid over here who says that he can slay the Philistine. And the Bible says that David was taken to Saul. Now you can just imagine Saul's royal tent. I mean, he was terrified. He was shaking. He wouldn't face the giant. But David and Saul have a conversation. And David said to Saul, let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. I mean, David is a teenager and he's talking to the warrior king and he's saying, don't worry, I've got this. And then Saul replied, you are not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You are only a boy and he's been a fighting man from his youth. But David said to Saul, your servant has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and carried off a sheep from the flock, I went after it, struck it, and rescued the sheep from its mouth. When it turned on me, I seized it by the hair, struck it, and killed it. Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear. This uncircumcised Philistine will be just like one of them because he has defied the armies of the living God. Now, I want you to see something here. David didn't just get, uh, uh, begin his ministry fighting giants. He started out in quiet, by himself, in, in, in the desert, with sheep, uh, taking care of them, and defending them against the lion and against the bear. It's the same thing with us in ministry. You don't get born again an apostle. You don't get born again and then go to the printing store and get some business cards that say prophet, apostle. You don't do that. You start by being trained in the little things. What does Yeshua say? That we're faithful in little things and then we become ruler over much. Michael, he's actually our sound man here. We started a few years ago with some green paint and a wall and started making simple YouTube teaching videos. And from that, after a couple years, somehow, we're with you, we're on God TV. I don't know that how that happened, but we tried to be faithful with what we had and now God has given us a bigger platform. Here's the thing, friends, there's a process. You start, like David, with the bear, with the lion, and then as you are faithful, as you grow, then God can trust you with bigger things like taking on a Goliath. Saul said to David, go and the Lord be with you. Then Saul dressed David in his own tunic. He put a coat of armor on him and a bronze helmet on his head. David fastened on his sword over the tunic and tried walking around because he was not used to them. He said, I can't go in these because I'm not used to them. So he took them off. You see, David could not go in the armor of Saul. They were of a different spirit. Saul was used to the armor of man, while David was a man of the spirit. How did he have the courage to take on a, a lion, to take on a bear? Because he spent time with God. He knew that God was, you know, let's just be honest. Even a lion and a bear is pretty difficult for just a, a little kid, much less a giant. He didn't slay them in the natural with a, a, the armor of a saw. He did it by trusting God. And in the same way in our lives, we don't take on the, the ways of the world. When we're seeking success in our life, in our ministry, we don't go to a book and say, how does the world do it? What are the tricks of the world? We go to God. We go into prayer, into intercession. We seek the King of Kings because if God be for you, nobody can be against you. And that's what David does. He said, I'm not used to the world's ways. He takes off the armor and he just goes in his normal clothes. The Bible says he just grabs five smooth stones. That's, that's all that he needed. And then, of course, you know the rest of the story that we're going to talk about in the next episode, the final episode in this series on David and Goliath. Now make sure that you go to God.tv so you never miss even one episode. And you can find me at our website, roncantor.com. Please follow Ron on Twitter and Facebook at Ron S. Cantor to find out more about Ron and his ministry. For more information on God TV and the Out of Zion programs, or to view these programs again, go to God.tv forward slash Zion.